Hi, this is Sebastian KB0TTL. If you're going to get one of our new SkyBridge hotspots, plug and play bundles that you have us pre-program here for you, or if you're just gonna buy one of these off the shelf, Brandmeister now requires a Brandmeister hotspot security password be set up on your hotspot before you're able to access the Brandmeister networks. What this means for you is that if you order one of our plug and play packages, we need to go ahead and get just a couple of additional pieces of information here from you. We'll need to know what your hotspot security password is. And of course, you'll need to go ahead and log into the Brandmeister website. That is brandmeister.network is the name of the website. Create a free account and then go ahead and set up your security password. Let's go ahead and go over a few of the things you may or may not want to use as that security password. Okay, so Pystar, this is the program that your hotspot runs off of. It is the shell that you enter all your information to. It's a little bit sensitive as far as what passwords it likes to accept and what passwords it does not like to accept. And if it doesn't like your password, it's not going to log you onto the network, even if the password that you give it is the same password that's on Brandmeister. So we have to go with simple passwords on Pystar instead of the more complex passwords. What we want to do is we want to go either all numeric or all the same case of type, but we don't want to mix letters and numbers. We don't want to mix cases and we don't want to mix in special characters because that will throw Pystar off and you won't be able to log into the Brandmeister network. So examples here. One, two, three, four. Of course, you might want to get a little more creative, like your home address number or what have you. All lowercase Floyd, F-L-O-Y-D. Lowercase C-Q-C-Q, C-Q-D-X, or even a longer name. But again, all lowercase, uh, we could do that. What we want to go ahead and avoid is things with special characters or with mixed letters and numbers. Notice this is all caps, but hey, looky here, we have a zero in there. It, it's, uh, it's not all letters, it's letters and a number, so that won't fly. Again, we have a capital, we have a number, that won't work. Uh, we have the same name here, except we have two caps in it, not gonna work. We have a special character in here, short and sweet, less than 10 digits, less than 10 digits in length, in length works best for the, uh, for the Pystar application. So we'll go ahead with that, but this is, um, these are the kinds of passwords we're gonna select, these are the kinds of passwords to steer away from if you want everything to run smoothly. And on these hotspots, you want everything to run smoothly. So now with that said and done, we're gonna go ahead and make our Brandmeister account here on our laptop. I have uh, Tom, who's a new licensee, just got his call sign, and again, a word of congratulations to him. We're gonna have him come and create his Brandmeister account here in front of us. All right, so we're gonna proceed here, folks, to brandmeister.network, and this is where we're gonna go ahead and register for our new account here and we are gonna move over here to the register tab and give her a click. We wanna enter in our call sign. Register. And then select a security password. Um, this password's up to you as it actually goes ahead and logs you into your Brandmeister account. All right, we'll go ahead. Once we get this all in, we'll use the little caption thing down at the footer which confirms that we're a human being. We're gonna click that and we're gonna click submit. We're gonna wait for an email, which is gonna come into our inbox. When we receive this email in our inbox, we are going to go ahead and confirm. It can take several hours to confirm and then we'll come back and finish the registration process. We have seen before where it's taken multiple days for the account to activate. This is actually not abnormal. So if this happens, don't be discouraged. It is actually perfectly normal. So it could take anywhere from hours to days for this to happen. It's based on the speed of Brandmeister and their ability to process the incoming requests. <laughs> we're gonna log back in here today, folks, and we're gonna use our call sign, which we've entered here previously and then the password which we previously selected. And what we've done here is we've gone into our email and confirmed the link that you've seen here just before um, that we have to confirm in order to get in. I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to go to self-care. Yeah, it's not settings, it's... Now, once I'm in self-care, I'm gonna go ahead and ignore this top portion here. I'm gonna go straight for the money here. I'm gonna go to where it says hotspot security and I'm gonna turn that on. 
and I'm just going to type in a basic password. This is the password I want you all to go ahead and do when you get your uh, BrainMeister password. That is if you want to go ahead and get the plug and play. Just a simple password, four letters, all lowercase, T-E-S-T, -E or test. You could change this later if you like, but if your, um, if your order arrives to us and this password is in there, we'll automatically know what to go ahead and put in for your uh, plug and play bundle. And then we'll just go ahead and save. And voila, you now have your hotspot security uh, set up and you have the word test or TEST placed in there and we'll be ready to go. Today we went ahead and covered everything that you need to know to create your BrandMeister account and to create your hotspot password for your plug and play bundle. If you'd like to know more about the AnyTone Radio or the SkyBridge Bundle, please click the link below. And again, this is Sebastian, KB0TTL and 73.